Last time Auburn basketball put a beating on a seasoning opening opponent the way they did, Vermont, Chris Porter played his first game in an Auburn jersey. It's literally how long it's been. This is brand, yeah, yeah. That's Village Vice. He's Zach Back, uh, Blackerby. I'm Brad Law, Zach Blackerby. So, hey, Brad, slow down, buddy. Slow down. I know you're excited about yeah. Auburn's 94 to 43 shellacking yeah. of Vermont. Auburn just kept running. Auburn just kept running guys in and they kept making threes and getting stops. And it was something. Um, listen, basketball is going to be fun. You need to be on board with mybookie.ag. Use promo code next round. They'll double your initial deposit. All right. So jumpstart your basketball season with mybookie.ag. Yeah. No kidding. No kidding. Uh, I mean, this is going to be a fun, fun season. And there's so many different stats that pop out where it's like, I want to spend like 10 minutes talking about this. Frankly, like we, we could. Yeah. Like the, the fact of the matter is like, sure, Auburn scored 94 points and they shot super good from behind the arc and all of that. But defensively, like this is a Vermont team that's solid. Yeah. And they shot 26% from the floor because the defense was just suffocating and relentless and aggressive. You're up 20 Miles Kelly's throwing his body on the floor trying to go get a loose basketball. It's like that's the stuff you want to see, Brad. And then Jaheim Hudson comes in and he's just a freight train and you can't do anything against him. He, I mean, and and he's coming in with five minutes to go in the game, yeah. running people over. What? Yeah, you, yeah, you keep putting guys in, and it's like these are the backups, like these are the guys that are gonna get limited minutes, and it's like, oh, he's still I mean, it just shows the depth of this yeah. team. Bruce Pearl said to us before the game that you are almost forced to play their style, the speed and the tempo at which they play. You're almost, you, you can't really, like we talk about dictating tempo, but you can't really against a team like this. You're going to have to play a game in the 60s or 70s. He was hopeful they could get the 70s. I, th I think he thought that Florida Atlantic was like the best they could play this early in the year. And he was a little worried that that was going to be the like that you couldn't replicate that, especially against a better program like Vermont. Yeah, brother. Not only did they replicate it, they went another level beyond that. I mean, that was it was dominant offensively. It was dominant defensively. There wasn't a segment of the game. There wasn't free throw. Maybe hit a few free. If you just man, if you can't sleep tonight unless you complain about something. Then look at free throws. 55% free throw. Like, that's not good. That's but not good. My goodness gracious. When you dominate, not, man, not just the score, but the way you get to the score, dominating every segment, every facet of the game against a good team. That's not Atlanta Westfield Tech. That you, That's the reigning three-time conference champions in a perennial NCAA tournament team. Yeah, and there are stats of, like, it's the worst, like, performance and you know their head coaches era that we talked very glowingly about yeah. yesterday because he deserves it i mean it's just everything that auburn did to them was just dominant here it is uh vermont's 26 percent is the lowest percentage in the entire john becker era yeah. 13 seasons five ncaa tournaments 13 combined conference titles it's insane it ties for the lowest points they've scored in a game in his tenure in any game against any opponent. Vermont committed more turnovers than it made shots. Yeah. Had more turnovers than in any game they played last year. Auburn's bench outscored Vermont as a whole. I mean, it's just the, the yeah. level of dominance. It's just amazing. And so you look at what that means. Uh, Ken Palm, which is kind of what everybody agrees is the best way to evaluate and rank teams right now. Auburn is number two, and they are playing the number one team in Ken yeah. Palm on Saturday. I mean, it's just so fun. It's so stinking fun. And also, just like to zoom out a little bit, Brad. Yeah. I think the Auburn fan base needed this. <laughs> well, there, there was definitely like the energy in the building and some of the pops when that team got on a run in the second half. We're, no we're now used to seeing... Auburn basketball going a 13-0 run in a minute and 10 seconds. Like we're it's not the first time we've seen it. No. But there was some pent up, like the the Coke bottle had been shaken up a little bit before. Yeah, last no, we night. needed it. 
I, yeah. I, I, we needed that stuff. <laughs> there, I don't think there's any question about it. And we talked about this with football earlier in the season. I think it was the weekend. I guess it was our bye week because I felt this when I was watching LSU was playing somebody big. Was it Ole Miss maybe? And then Ohio State and Oregon. Like That was a great week yeah. in college football, and we, we were on bye. And I just saw all these games that meant so much. And I just had this longing of like, I want to cheer for Auburn in a game like this again. Yeah. And it's not going to happen on the football field this year, sadly. But it is going to happen on the hardwood in Houston Saturday night. And I can't wait. It's going to happen m multiple times this year in basketball. And can I submit to you that it's not just a product of uh, hey, we like to win. We're following like because football has struggled, so we we weigh a little more on basketball. I don't think that's as much is as it is just the overall appreciation for the consistency of intensity and yeah. discipline and result. Yes, result and I'm, results like are the marquee. The results are the bit, but how do you get there? The way BP leads this program with mm -hmm. a big picture vision and an everyday vision. There is no complacency. There is no like Auburn won by fifty-one points, and he's like, yeah, "We got to. We're not celebrating this. We got. It's very different against Houston. Like it's fans. We're gonna come on and be delighted and and really soak it in and bug a little bit. Sure, and that's fine. But the right. way he leads that program, those guys aren't. They're on to Houston. They're locked in, and it's that type. That's what you have. Goodness gracious, when you coach guys unapologetically intensely, you do not apologize for the standard that you set, and you yeah. don't waver, and you stick to it, and you never ask them to work harder than you're willing to work yourself. They respond. Your fans respond. Everybody responds. And that's, that's what why great coaches do. That's what yes. the great coaches do and lead great programs. That's how they lead. Yeah. No question. All right, let's 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 spend a few minutes talking about Auburn. I'm saying it's at Houston. They're playing literally in Houston, the name of the school that they're playing. So, right. Whatever. Okay. Neutral site game, whatever. They're yeah. going to Houston to play the basketball yeah. game. Let's jump into that in just a moment because, goodness, it could be iconic. It could be iconic for this season regardless of which way this game goes. Today's show brought to you by our friends at Roback. R-H-O-B-A-C-K dot com. You may be noticing... Wow, Zach, that hoodie looks really good. Wow, Zach, not only does it look good, I bet you're super comfortable. Mm -hmm. Hell, you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Roback.com. And look, here's the thing. You can go buy this. Uh -huh. You can go buy it right now, and you don't have to pay full price. No. In fact, we're going to save you 20%. You're only going to pay 80% of the full price on that bad boy. That's right. That's right. Use promo code VICE20 at checkout at Roback.com. Site-wide, they usually have these like uh, these codes that are automatically applied to your cart. Just click the X, delete it, and type in VICE20. You'll get 20% off your order, whether it's a hoodie like this one, a quarter zip. My wife left the house a little while ago wearing my quarter zip, my Roback quarter zip. So oh, we're Robacked that? out right now. How about that? <laughs> how about that? I'm like, you're going to work out in my quarter zip? She's like, it's so comfortable. Yeah. It's so comfortable. I'm like, okay. Comfortable, right. comfortable. You're saying that Roback is comfortable enough to work out in or do everyday tasks around the house? Both? Yeah. Both exactly. and? Yeah. Okay. So Roback.com use promo code VICE20. According to Ken Palm, the number one team in college basketball playing the number two team in college basketball. And uh, I mean, what else can you ask for? What else can you ask for, Brad Law? Yeah. Two programs that are perennially elite programs, two head coaches that are Hall of Famers, um, physical, tough, and it's November. It's the first Saturday of college basketball, and you have a matchup like this. Don't tell me the college basketball regular season's watered down. Don't tell me games like this don't mean something. This is a – look, you've got a Saturday of college football, and there's still going to be a lot of eyes on this game. You got ranked on ranked games throughout the football schedule. There's still going to be a lot of eyeballs yep. on this game. This is a tournament. This is a potential final four type of matchup. Yes. 
It's well, I mean, it's it's Final Four caliber teams. Yeah, one versus two. Yeah, I get it. It's yeah. It, yeah. So you know, you'll find out. Houston's going to come out. They're going to punch you in the chin right off the bat. They're big. They're physical. They don't back down from anybody. They don't have to. Right. Well, Auburn's big and physical, and they don't have to back down from anybody. Huge game for Chaney Johnson. Huge game. For Cheney, he has gone very quiet. He's dominated the exhibitions and the Vermont game. The minutes he was in, domination. Quietly still under the radar, though. Big game for him. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so much to love. So much to love about this matchup. I, I want to see these freshmen who looked ready day one against Vermont. I want to see what they look like in this situation. Can we lean on these guys in these big stages early on in their career? What a great opportunity for them. And, I mean, I think we all wanted we all wanted one of those four shots from Pettiford to fall. Yeah. It's just a bummer that it didn't happen. But you can obviously see, like, the traits that make him special. I mean, his ability to create his own shot. Like, goodness gracious. That was so smooth. They just didn't fall, and they're going yeah. to. Does he Does he get a few of those maybe early on on Saturday? I think that's going to be an important thing. And then also, like, weirdly enough, Janai Broom was probably the most inefficient shooter against Vermont. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. This is going to be a big – I mean, Houston's got some bigs that, um, that are going to be one of the few matchups this year – that they might actually match up well with Janai. And so is the game plan for Janai to take the basketball and say, you know, no, I'm one of the best players in college basketball. Let's do this. Yeah. Or do, does he, does he dish it out to other folks? That's going to be fun to see too. Yeah. Jawan Roberts is one of the big, he's six, eight, two thirty five for, for yeah. Houston, uh, 14 and six in their first game. Uh, Milo Suzan had 10 assists as a team. They only had 19 assists and they had nine turnovers against Jackson state. All right, nine turnovers against Jackson State is 16 or so probably against mm -hmm. Auburn, I would think, I would think. Given yeah. the way that Auburn has played defense, I've, I've got to think they could turn Houston over. But they had, they had a very similar game against Jackson State that Auburn had against Vermont. They won their game 97 to 50 or to 40, I think. I mean, just a – so both teams complete routes in their first games. Vermont better than Jackson State, but – Whole, whole new ball game. And I give Auburn a little bit of an, you know, Jabari, that's Jabari Smith's home floor in Houston. That's right. It's Jabari Smith's home floor. So it, it may be Houston colors, but there's a little bit of Auburn seed planting going on there. You think, you think he's, um, you think he's hit up Bruce? You think he's going to be at the game on Saturday? That's a good question. I don't know what their, um, well, that's true. It depends it, on where it, the Rockets are playing. He could have work. Uh, he does not have a game Saturday, but they are, I think, at Detroit Sunday. So we'll see. Yeah, I'm sure if I'd, he can, he'll be there. It so. would be cool to see him. So, yep, it would be. All right. Uh, I think that does it for today's show, Brad. It's so fun to talk about good news. So, fun. yeah, so if fun. you want. If you want to talk more about good news, head over to the barnauburn.com. First month, just a dollar. Just check it out. Look around. And you know what you get in that dollar in in that month the uh -huh. portal opens yeah and you get signing day <laughs> for a dollar for a dollar come on you can find a dollar in your couch cushions at least you used to be able to I don't know if people do that now or not yeah probably not all right probably check not. it out thebarnauburn.com in the meantime hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed you get notified anytime we release a new episode and remember until next time everyone has vices make sure Village Vice is one of yours.